Hey, how's it going guys? So today I've got another installment of a few cool spy hacks that you can do right now. Um, so this video is going to be focused entirely on your smartphone and I'm sure almost all of you have access to this or computer or something since you're watching this video. Um, so yeah, good news, you can probably find a way to do all of these. So in this video I'm going to show you four cool spy apps that you can download right now. I'll drop links in the description to all these apps. So if you're interested, go check them out down there. And um, there's one other thing I wanted to say. Oh yeah, so all these apps are free to use, or at least all their free versions work perfectly well. And um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be showing today. So yeah, everything you see, you don't need to pay for it. Um, it's all 100% free. So let's get into this. All right, so I've got my phone tethered to my computer, so I'm gonna also be recording the screen. So I can hopefully mix it up if uh, this camera doesn't pick up the screen as well as I want it to. And yeah, let's jump right into this. So this app I'm going to show you is called Sideline, and it basically just adds a second number to your phone. So this is a perfect number for, to give to accounts that you're creating on the internet. And this way you can just use this number and get rid of it if you want. It's not your main number, and uh, you won't get like a million spam calls a day. Here's how it works. So continue and uh, add your phone number. Just blur this out, and just create your password. I'm just going to do. And then it'll send you a code. And yeah, now we can select our phone number. So yeah, now you can uh, text through this phone. So I'm actually gonna send my real phone a text and uh, we'll see if it comes through uh, from my new number. And test text, some random emojis. Yep, there we go. As you can see, we have a message from my new number right here and that shows that it's working. And the cool thing is, is you can actually uh, make phone calls with this well. I'm gonna try calling a number Comment below if you remember this number. Um, but yeah, let's give it a shot, see what happens. Callers, this will only take a moment. And by answering just a few questions. So it looks like the number actually redirects to a sales number, which is which is kind of a bummer, but uh, as you can see, the call actually went through. So yeah, there you go. The call function works through this app, and uh, so you can give it out if like the website requires a uh, actual voice call as well. All right, let's move on to the next app. All right, so this one's not even really an app. Um, you don't even have to download anything to do it. You just have to go to a website address. Again, I'll link them down in the description. But um, basically, when you're surfing the web, uh, websites, what they'll actually do is record all your information um, through your IP address. Now, this can be helpful if to let a website uh, remember your preferences, uh, but this can also leave you vulnerable to uh, knowing your location and uh, a lot more stuff about your presence on the internet. Um, so here's a way to help mask that. I feel a little paranoid about the sites you're going to. I don't know, I'm not gonna judge, but uh, yeah, this might help you out. So the URL, um, once if you just click it in the description, um, it's actually called hidemyass.com. And what this does is it uh, allows you to create a free web proxy, and this will basically mask your IP, which is your like presence online. So all you have to do is go over to the sidebar and click free web proxy, and then you can select um, where you want your proxy to be located, so where you want uh, your IP to actually look like it's coming from. Um, so right now I have the UK, you know, Afghanistan, but uh, really whatever else you want. I'm just gonna leave that there, and um, we're just gonna go to the Google search engine. So google.com. And yeah, click hide my ass. And now we're on the Google homepage, and if we actually go to find my IP, I'll go to location actually, just so we can see where uh, it thinks we are. And yeah, here are the results from uh, the IP. It uh, thinks we are in the United Kingdom. Um, that's our that's our fake IP address. 
And yeah, there you go. Our IP is ghosted. And uh, just to show you that this works, I'm gonna go ahead and switch my IP, come back to this site, and we'll see if it says anything different. All right, and as you can see, we are now on their uh, third IP. So the 253 originally uh, changed to a 254. You can see that uh, this actually gives us our new IP, which is uh, different from the last one. So that's how to ghost your IP and uh, make yourself look like you're somewhere that you're not. And uh, again, keep all your information private when you're surfing the web. So now we're moving off the internet and uh, communications. We're gonna more focus on the device itself. So this app right here, um, it's actually really cool how they did this, um, I think anyway. It's called Night Eyes. It's actually a really good low light camera for the smartphone. Um, I know what you're thinking, like it's probably just fake and they just boosted the uh, exposure or something. But uh, no, this actually works a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch into it. Again, link in the description. Uh, click start camera, it is an ad, but just X out of it. And now it uh, boots into this weird kind of uh, green camera. But the secret to this app uh, is you can actually change the exposure rate. And uh, you'll see what I mean. So right here I have a couple of lighters. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these lights and uh, we're gonna see how this camera performs compared to the original camera that uh, comes with the iPhone. All right, so as you can see, it is actually very dark in this room. Um, I've got my computer over there, which is giving me just, just enough light, but my actual DSLR is not picking up anything. Complete black, you can't, you can like barely make out my hand right there, is uh, killing it in the low light situation. So let me actually switch over to the regular camera app, and there it fades into blackness. So let's switch back over to the other app, but already it has a little bit of an outline. Um, granted, it is super grainy, but uh, here's where the app really kicks in. I think it, uh, it's really cool. So right here we have an M1 button. If we go ahead and click that, we can switch to M2. So basically what this does is it uh, slows down the frame rate, but increases the exposure for each shot. So we can actually get more light um, into the sensors and into the picture. So it allows it to be really good in low light conditions. As you can see, um, we can see the lighter box already uh, to uh, M2. You can even do M3 if you wanna um, blow out the exposure a little bit more and you can really see, I guess this actually looks a little bit better on camera. Um, you can actually see my whole hand too, as opposed to just a lighter, um, when there was no chance of that um, when we had just a regular camera. Obviously you can't get like amazing shots out of this, um, but if it's really dark out and you wanna see something in the distance, or maybe like you want to uh, record something in the dark just for like security purposes. You can uh, fire this app up and prop your phone up somewhere in the dark and it'll do a far better job than what your normal phone camera would do. So yeah, once again, this app is called Night Eyes and uh, link is in the description. All right, I got one more to show you. Let's move on to it. So this last app is called uh, Surveillance. Flip through it, read these. Um, we actually get one month of free trial. So once you're in this app, uh, you and a friend can use one of your phones as the camera, uh, just like position it somewhere, and um, the other person can actually hop on as a guardian and view the stream that you're actually uh, shooting. Now the uh, cool part about this app is you can actually set uh, sound alerts, so that'll trigger the camera recording. Also video alerts. So uh, any sort of motion uh, will also trigger the recording. Uh, but if you don't mind this and you just want to like record and view it from somewhere else, honestly, all you have to do is use like you even use something like FaceTime even, or uh, I just downloaded like a live stream app. Yeah, really easy. Now you might even have an old one lying around in which case this project won't cost you a thing. Now if you don't have one, you're in luck, because these things are very cheap. I bought this track phone for $12, including shipping. I'll throw a link in the description if you want to go check it out. Now the cool part about this phone is it's off contract. So basically, just pay for as much as you need, and this motion camera doesn't take up that much data at all. Or if you're using this in an area with Wi-Fi, like at your house, then you don't even need to bother with that. It's basically just like a $12 iPod. So the first step is to set up your phone. 
Just log in and connect it to Wi-Fi and set up your plan and all that stuff. Then hop on over to the Google Play Store and download the app called Motion Detector Pro. I'll link that below as well. Once that's downloaded, open up the app and enter either your email or phone number, wherever you want to be contacted. Now we need to mount the phone somewhere. You can be creative with this, but remember it's a good idea to leave the phone plugged in so it doesn't die. So mounting in an area with an outlet is preferred. If you're trying to be sneaky about this, try cutting a small hole in a box and taping the phone to the inside, then running a power cord into the box through the bottom. Now start up the motion detector and activate it. Now we're good to go. Now whenever someone walks in the shot, it will take a picture and email it to you. And there you go. I'm sure if you wanted, you can even rig this up to something like IFTTT and get the email to trigger all sorts of stuff, but I'll let you guys be creative with that. Once again, this video is based around uh, cool simple spy stuff you can do with your smartphone, but uh, if you have any other cool ideas about stuff you want to see me do slash make, uh, drop them in the description below and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Also, uh, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. That's uh, pretty much it for this video, guys, so I will catch you in the next one.